Okay, here we have a circuit wiring board, typical of what's produced after two weeks of the electrical module, the first two weeks. And on the board, you can see that we have uh, an ignition switch, standard Lucas ignition switch, and we also have vehicle wiring circuits such as parking lamps, headlamps. So one spot represents dip, and we can go to main and dipping switch, dip switch arrangements there. We also have a bit of instrumentation there, switch off the headlights. So we have some instrumentation going on there, but you'll also notice that we have glow plugs. Now, at the moment, the glow plugs are operated by the standard Lucas uh, key switch, which when you go half against key pressure, spring pressure, as if you were going to start the engine, that energizes the sunlight, which you just heard click, and you can see there, that it operates the glow plugs. Okay, you can switch that off. Now you can see there that we have to hold our hands on the keys. So when we went on and did a small bit of electronics, we decided to concoct a small time delay circuit that we just have to touch the circuit once or touch the switch once, and it will keep these uh, glow plugs energized for a specific amount of time, a useful amount of time, just say 15, 20 seconds. So the circuit is, this one is built on an electronics training board and it just consists, consists of a relay with a clamping diode across the field coils in the relay. That's to um, prevent spikes going into the transistor. And the transistor there is controlling the, bay, uh, the um, earth side of the field coil in the relay. There is a base limiting resistor there, a second resistor to slow down the discharge of the capacitor and the whole thing is controlled by a push to make switch. So now you'll see when we just touch the switch once, right, we have a warning lamp there to indicate that our glow plugs are working. You would have heard the solenoid click. There's the solenoid. And there you can hear it click off and you can see it heated the glow plugs for a satisfactory length of time. Then we took the whole thing a stage further and moved it from the electronics training board we got ourselves a project box and used actual electronic components and put them into the uh, project box. So there you can see the completed box and you can see there are three wires coming into or coming out of. So we have a live feed in, we have a ground and we have a signal out. And the signal out is passed up to the solenoid and the solenoid closes the circuit and energizes the glow plugs. So there you can see the whole lot. And there's our project box, we'll try to give you a look inside. And again, you can see, what have we got? We've got a push to make switch, we have the capacitor, we have the transistor, a couple of resistors. Now we also, you'll notice in there, we also have a 30 amp uh, relay. And the reason why we have a 30 amp relay with the slightly heavier wiring is because we have to feed the solenoid. And the solenoid in this case is drawing about five amps. So the, the smaller relay wouldn't be able for it with the lighter wires. So that's all we've done there. So now we're going to operate that. I'm just going to push the button once. And again, we heard the solenoid click. And if we go around the front, and we can see we're getting a satisfactory glow from the plugs. And in due course, when it times out there, you hear the timing out, and the glow plugs go off. So that's it. Using a few simple electronic components, a relay, a capacitor, a couple of resistors, a transistor, and a push to make switch, along with a diode, we have a time delay circuit through which you can control glow plugs.